Hello everyone, this is Insane J and I'm back at Beach Club Eve. You should really put up a sign. <laughs> and well guess it's time to get something to drink. Oop. Left click, sorry, left click. Got a bartender here with a magic hat. It's crazy. Anyway. Today I'm going to make a tree farm. Oh, if I can get off the ground. You should never drink and fly. The tree farm um, is going to be, uh, well, big, obviously. And one of the things I want to plant trees for is rubber because well we ran out again then all the crafting recipes get stuck and waiting for rubber and it's a pain so rubber trees uh, since last episode I made a change to the way the IDSU is connected I forgot to connect the output to our energy network so it wasn't actually doing anything but now it is and as you can see it's uh, well, it's quite full during the day it gets charged by uh, our solar panels and everything we've got and then it drains slowly during the night but overall we're uh, producing more energy than we're using so that's good and also what I've been doing is replacing our storage drives uh, with larger drives basically because, uh, well, it was getting quite full. Let's see, uh, these are starting to fill up. And of course this one is full of cobblestone. Right now we have 92 million cobblestone. And in another episode I'm going to craft that into an octuple compressed cobblestone. And yeah, since we don't actually have a use for it, I'm kind of thinking about throwing it away gonna be uh, such a waste but eh, well, uh, we'll see we'll see what go, uh, what we'll do um, anyway uh, tree farm uh, so we're going to plant rubber trees and also I wanted to plant uh, what are they? The, the colored trees for the dyes because right now we have a couple of recipes that uh, require dyes and um, yeah, it's a mixture of rose red and then something else uh, we found, and yeah, it's uh, it's a mess. So I'd like to start using the the saplings as dyes, uh, the way they were intended. So what I'm going to do is um, over there you can see our solar farm, and behind it is an array uh, of pads for the trees. So I'm going to connect that part to this part using uh, well, the ME network basically so I already got the cable almost all the way there go down a few floors yeah so we dug a tunnel all the way from our base to where the music is playing in Beach Club Eve so I'm just going to connect this here and as soon as I connect this all the crafting orders in the ME system will get reset so we'll have to order all that stuff again but that's okay following the cable going up going up going up and then we end up in our solar farm and as you can see I replaced all the ultimate universal cable from mechanism with the ender energy conduit because that is what we are going to use uh, to connect everything in this tree farm. As you can see I made these nice, oh, almost finished anyway, made these uh, pillars. So uh, kind of fits uh, the theme of the solar farm. Um, 
So what we're going to do is connect uh, a planter and a harvester and this time I'm not going to use fertilizer because well, we don't need that much so if they just grow on their own uh, it will be plenty for us so what I'm going to do is put a planter in the, the center spot and then no, oh, harvester goes here and let's see do I Oh crap, I forgot to bring my facades. Let's go back to the base real quick. Sorry. Got so much stuff on me. Ooh. Slippery. There we go. Conduit facades. Yeah, Ender IO is uh, really nice. So, this planter needs saplings, of course. And it also needs to get power. So what I'm gonna do right now is connect it like this. And then what I can do is cover this up using a facade so it looks kinda flush with the rest of the, the platform. And then I can connect this Ender IO cable um, let's see what's the best way to do this, I think like this on the side and then have an ME interface at the back because as far as I know the harvester will eject its items backwards so an ME interface here should uh, catch all the items then connect these two wires Okay, as you can see, uh, the conduits are in one block, so I have two cables in one block, which is uh, really nice if you ask me. Then connect it here, and over here, in this gap, I'm going to place an energy cell because these uh, solar generators only work during the daytime, obviously. Uh, so we need to buffer the energy for the entire tree farm. I'm going to grab an energy cell. Don't know if we actually have those in stock. Uh, what I do know is that I'm out of range, so let's put down. Let's get my Vajra. Got a Vajra, by the way. Really nice. Uh, I have too much stuff on me. Okay, so wireless access point here and then fill it with boosters and now I can access our ME network and I was looking for an energy cell we have one here this one can store 10 million RF uh, oh we can also craft a leadstone but not the the really good one <laughs> I don't know what it's called, it's, uh, something with Ender, I don't know. So we may have to replace this one later, but for now this will do. So I'm going to extend the, the ME conduit all the way to the tree farm. Which isn't this f that far anymore because, well, it's right there. Okay, so here I'm going to put the energy cell. And by the looks of things, it's not configured properly. I think blue is input. Yep, it connects. And I think orange is output. Yep. Well, we can check if this machine is getting power. It is, so this is working. And then let's see what do we do with the conduit facade. I think I'll just uh, go underneath this block like so. Yeah, so um, right now this harvester and the planter below are connected to our ME network and we can look right through this uh, ME facade block because I'm holding 
uh, an ME conduit in my hand so they become transparent see it's really nice so what I need now are some saplings um, they are from project red so let's start using white and then I'll do them in order of color later but I have to figure out the rainbow first because well as a kid I didn't draw many rainbows okay sorry okay um, so we put this here and right now nothing's happening because I have all the white saplings in my hand but when I put them back they get planted here now these will grow slowly over time and when they do the harvester will chop them down collect the wood and the saplings and the saplings are what we are going to use for uh, our dyes and at the end I will put down four I think let's see one two three four five six seven nine so that's 18 there are 16 colors so two pads for rubber trees I might add two more if we need more but we'll start with two and it's getting dark so I'm going to um, fill in the rest of this tree farm off camera and when I get back I will show you the end result so be right back okay guys we are back the sun just uh, came up and well I didn't do this overnight it took a few minecraft days to get uh, everything done but well it's done and I think it looks amazing it's really nice seeing all those uh, trees in order of color took a bit of doing because well like I said before I'm not one to uh, draw rainbows as a kid <laughs> uh, anyway we're getting quite a bit of rubber now automatically day and night and of course all the dyes from the trees uh, right now they are being fed back into the planter machines if we look at this one hey down joint here you can see this inventory is pretty much empty what you can do is uh, grab some cobblestone and fill it up um, obviously the planter cannot plant stone so only the uh, the slot you leave open will be filled uh, with the, the saplings say hello to YouTube uh, so yeah that's, uh, that's a pro tip uh, if you do not fill the slots <laughs> you it's going to take a while for the machines to fill up so uh, yeah it's your choice doesn't really matter if I could speed yeah dumb dumb has a problem with the Engli 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 English language not sure why though um, so yeah here you can see how I connected everything using the facades so it looks uh, Oh, I think it looks really nice. I had to put an extra chunk loader over here because the chunk loader we have at spawn over there uh, didn't reach all the way to the end of the farm. And of course an extra ME wireless access point because I love having wireless access everywhere. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys like my tree farm. If you do then, well, rate, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.